so. I don't think I'm in hot water, though. Wait a minute, I'm getting a call. Let me take it. Hello? Oh, yes, it's Brent from the warm line. Hey, Brent. Hey. How much longer are you going to be on the warm line? Uh, 20 minutes. Three min 30 minutes? Three minutes? No, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, are you willing to sign a petition for rights for um, people on disability and Social Security? Anybody on Social Security income? gets to ride public transit for free and cheaper okay. insurance rates. Did you open the envelope? Uh, not yet. Why? I went to some trouble to get that nice envelope with a gift. That's a really good, nice gift. Uh-huh. What is it? It's got my derivation. Oh, I see. My derivation. Yeah. If only you would look over the derivation. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I've already looked it over for a number of years. I'm no, telling you, you it doesn't make That's any like sense. Goodbye. Boy, that person's rude. Hmm. Well, I'm Brent speaking. Yeah, hey, I'm calling you back. Okay. I just think we have to, like, have you had any interaction with San Rafael police? Have I heard of any interaction? Have you had any interaction with them? Uh, no. Oh, ever? No. I see, yes. And they seem, there's definitely a two-tiered system. They definitely think that some people are good and some people are bad. Yeah. And then basically the, educa the higher educational system is being used to distinguish those people and used to, for us to tell some people that they're bad people and up to no good. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. And it's kind of happening all over, too. Are you kind of fed up? And do you read very many comments on YouTube? Uh, I haven't in a while, though. I see, yes. I'm on TV. Yeah. And, uh, do you know anybody who's ever lived in Buckaloo programs? Mm, I think I've met some people. Yeah, like who? Buckaloo. I went to the Buckaloo work program. Yeah. I got this job in the end. Oh, yeah. Tell me more. Uh, I don't know which. What you say, Buckaloo will find out what you're interested in, and they'll get you some clothes, you can go there for interviews, uh, they'll send you some classes, and they'll teach you how to do an interview and a job. Don't you think that Buckaloo's scamming the elderly? What about the elderly? Why, do you, why should somebody who's a senior citizen be charred, be kind of like targeted by Buckaloo programs and asked to fund Buckaloo programs. I mean, isn't it the government's responsibility to take care of people who are in the mental health system and not up yeah. to like a senior, a retired person to like, why are they, okay, here's what they do. They, they want a retired person to fork over thousands of dollars to their foundation. And uh, there's embezzlement happening. Embezzlement. What do you think about that? That doesn't sound good. No. Embezzling, no. 
And there's a lot of discrimination when it comes to hiring. Yeah. And it's not that easy to get your uh, resume out there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, you know, people are so difficult. Don't you agree? No. Uh, yes, I do. They can be. Yeah. Like, in what ways have you found other people to be difficult? And what... Um, do you mind telling your callers? Does anybody talk about being on disability and how, like, at the end of the month, we, like... Or, like, not even halfway through the month, we're, like, out of money. Yeah. But, you know, it's not like I'm spending $100 on a cable bill. I'm not really bad with money. Right. Right. Hey, there's cuisine of India. Do you want to go there? You? Do you like Indian food? I've never had it. Hmm. Well, if you want to eat it, we can, but... Do you? Do you want to eat Thai food? Have you ever had Thai food? Where do you want to go? Over there or down there? Do you want to eat Thai food or Indian food? I don't care. Let's go down this way. You want to eat a Taco Bell first, right? It's cheaper. Yeah. And um, do you believe in, um, <laughs> have you taken some science classes? Well, you have. Are you there? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you believe in the mass of an electron in kilograms? That it makes any sense? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. How can it possibly make sense? To like you put it in a, in a in a number, you know, because we don't. You can argue that we don't really know what it is, just because it's agreed upon that that's kind of what it's going to be doesn't mean that that truly is what it is. Indeed. What's the last time that you had a job? I mean, I don't mean that in like a rude way. What? I consider what I'm doing right now a job. Well, yeah, it is, but I mean, like a different, a regular job. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Like how many years? Probably. Oh yeah. <sighs> but I work. I work the yard work. Oh yeah. Work on the yard. Do you do what yard work in your backyard? Uh, what do your what does your family say about your diagnosis? And do you agree with your diagnosis? Yeah, they agree with my diagnosis. What is your diagnosis? Uh, I have to do a diagnosis. Oh, so that means drug use too? Yeah. What kind of it's drugs? Pretty. Oh. Hmm. But you don't sound like you're out to harm anybody. Yeah. Have you ever been hospitalized at Mern General? Yes, I have. Well, no, I haven't. Uh, I went oh. to a partial program and had four hours a day. Yeah. Do you want to eat at Olive Garden? Nope. They have. Let's find out how much the unlimited bowls of soup is. Do you want soup and salad? Okay. Or no? What kind of soup do they have? Do they have unlimited soup and salad? Do you want to find out? We can. Okay, we'll find out. Do you eat out very much? You mean? Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Maybe like once a week. Where do you go? Um, like where? Yeah. But that's like to go, that's not like sitting down and stuff. Yeah. Are you tired of stuck up people? Of stuck up people? Yeah. No, I'm just figuring it's their business. Oh, I see. But. Have you ever gotten into El Davide? They have pretty good, like, pasta, and it's not very expensive. Can you hear me? Yeah. Il Davide on 4th Street? 
Yeah. It's really good, and it's not very much money. That's good. You like that place? Yeah. But the prices went up. Oh my gosh, we're going to Olive Garden. It's crazy to eat at Olive Garden. Yeah. Is I know my friend's gonna complain about the other restaurant. Yeah, it's another chain restaurant. Yeah. Do you eat at chain restaurants? Yes, I do. Uh huh. Which ones? Uh, let's see. Oh, I see, yeah. Texas. Oh, yeah, in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Can we look at the menu? You guys, you guys have like the unlimited soup and salad thing? Um, yes, we should still. I'm not sure if that's changed during all of this. Okay. Can I have one too to look at? Oh, you don't have to be. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, we're going to sit down over here and look at the money and see what we want to do. No, we plan on eating here. Yeah, we just don't know what to do yet. Um, let's see, create on pasta. Uh, or we could just, what is this? Take home every day, $5? Purchase any interest in the, one of these classics for just $5. Yeah. Stuff fettuccine up for the eggplant. They have eggplant parmigiana. They do. But how much is it? Did you want to just get like um, make something in the room, or did you want to? Eggplant parmigiana is fourteen. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. What are you gonna eat for dinner? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Where's the unlimited soup and salad? Right now. Oh, it's $9.99. Yo. They got minestrone, pasta, fiogoli, chicken and gnocchi, zuppa, mm -hmm. pasta. Why don't we just go to Whole Foods? You can go back to the room if you want. Or do you want to go to Fresh Market and get um, ravioli? I, I can't spend all this money. Okay, then you go down there. Okay, what are you going to do? Go back to the room. Yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna eat at home. 